Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, I will talk about the blackjack knives, uh, the Tac Op series as it is here in my hand. At the Blade Show 2014, I did pick up two of those uh, knives. They were on sale by the Smoky Mountain Knives boot at the at the Blade Show. Uh, they had that deal online for a while as well but I saved on shipping as I could pick it up directly at the show. The Blackjack Knives website gonna show you all the different models that they make. They make it in a different blade length. I think about three or four different length and the, the handle looks like it is uh, mainly the same and you get it in a uh, different color. So they have a, a green version a black, a sand color and also a zombie or apocalypse green bright color G10 version. Uh, the knife in front of the camera is a black micarta and the one in the box has a green, a green uh, olive green uh, G10. So we're gonna have a look a bit at that knife. Uh, currently it's not clear yet uh, if that is 1095 carbon steel or it is uh, A2 steel. Uh, the, I did not see any, any contactors on the blackjack knife so I, I'm in the process of uh, figuring out uh, what that is because some, some say it is A2 as they told me at, at the blade show and uh, on the website it says it's 1095 A2 tool steel would be of course a little bit better but 1095 would be already a, a great uh, steel the price that I paid for it was less than 75 dollars because I did uh, buy two of them and uh, that is a, a great uh, discount that was overstock by Smoky Mountain and uh, they may still have that deal so the, the knife is about 4 mm thick steel, it has nice dump serrations and uh, this one here I did already rework a bit so what I did is uh, take off the scales it's a complete full tank, there is no other holes like for the boosings, for the screw and the, the lanyard hole completely full tank and uh, the screws are a little bit too long so the, the scales could not press together on the on the tank too well so I needed to shorten two of the screws and uh, there is no Loctite so I put Loctite in as well as I did that I already did round a bit more with sandpaper the edges of the scales uh, just a little bit the problem is the, the rounding here is pretty well done but that corner here and that corner here where the CNC milling uh, did, did go through is a bit uh, on the on the rough side still. Also the lanyard hole was not chamfered. It was just flat as we see it in a minute by the green G10 version. So uh, those steps I did do also uh, on the flat side of the scales I did uh, sand it just a little bit because there was a bit uh, fuzzy, fuzzy uh, sticking out. So in case your knife, the, the handle are shut on the, on the knife and clamp well so you don't need to, to shorten the screws but uh, if so, if, if they uh, wiggle uh, just a little bit it's the screw that is too long and uh, it's an easy fix. So those knives are convex grind, we see here a bit of scratching of the Kydex sheet. Uh, that's that's okay. I thought they uh, get those knives as users, not uh, for collection. They're gonna be used this summer and uh, tested out, and then I'm gonna quite likely mount them on the tactical uh, mole belt and uh, put put uh, in storage so they are ready. And uh, the convex edge is really nicely done. How they did grind that. Uh, what we see here, the detail here, we see uh, there is still a bit uh, the the paint of the coating, that that uh, traction coating uh, left. It's a little bit like a, a ripped feeling there there. So so I need to uh, 
rework it here a little bit. Uh, that is on all the knives I saw on both sides. So that that uh, needs a bit of rework. That's easily done. And uh, here we have a little bit of uh, maybe a fingerprint. Uh, it's a little bit rust. I mean, it's really not deep, and it's a user, as I say. So it doesn't matter for me. I'm gonna gonna brush that up a bit with the with the sata wheel, and uh, then it's good again. So the knife uh, comes with a with a kydex sheet. The kydex sheet uh, locks the, the knife into the place. On the back side we have the belt loop. Uh, this one I already did alter a bit too. I did round off the, the corners. Some of the corners are, are pretty sharp. That's usually with the kydex sheet that are serial producted products. So, so that is uh, how that is. Also in here. And uh, they did not rivet the the belt loop together so I glued a bit in the middle too maybe one day I'm gonna put on a rivet so the belt loop sticks together but again quite likely I'm gonna mount it on molly so that's gonna gonna come away and uh, the screws I used Loctite already uh, there is no Loctite used on on that knife and here we have the adjustable feature for the tension how you take the knife in and out you can adjust it how you want uh, that's a really nice feature and it also needs Loctite the distance of the screws of the of the lanyards of the A-lets as I can say it the A-lets are not spaced for the tech lock or for the mini tech lock so I gonna quite likely additionally drill holes to the to the correct uh, size so that I can use the tech lock both sides as well as I did with all my other sheets. Just makes it a bit more universal and uh, easier to use. And there is plenty of of material left that you can add on the uh, holes, as you can add on uh, the the a -lets. And uh, also you can use the a -lets if you make a custom Kydox for a, for a sharpener or for a fire steel as you want. So the knife goes in all the way and locks. Looks like that. It's pretty, pretty nice packaging for that price, especially those those uh, 75 ish uh, dollar is absolute great and uh, by the way the price was the same for all the, the different models that is a six inch blade uh, if I'm right they had the shorter four inch and the longer I think eight inch the, the longer one was a bit out of balance for me so so uh, I did go with uh, with a six inch which I like pretty much especially for that price so that one to the that much to the black one. As you open the box up, uh, basically the knife is in that part here, and the whole thing, the whole thing is wrapped with some paper. I take that already off, and uh, it lays in it, and the kydex sheet is on top of it. That's how you get it. There is no, not much description. Uh, we see here. Uh, the the blackjack knives and uh, yeah that's the model six six inch and the uh, Ranger Green G10 handle on uh, that one the the box is nothing uh, special it's just a simple printed uh, cardboard box we have the same uh, Kydex sheet and this one on this knife and the sheet nothing was altered I just came back from the play show really tired so I did not do much at all but you see here hopefully the camera see the the corners are pretty pretty sharp so what I do is uh, round that stuff up also uh, inside the belt loop it will work how it is already I just do that it's it's more comfortable to use but uh, the, the finish as it comes from the factory, it's pretty smooth. I saw way better Kydex sheet, so so it's already pretty good.
it's just not a complete rounded I hope the camera see that that this one is altered already around and this one is square so it it doesn't take you much time it's oh, about 10 minutes then the, the sheet is fixed and uh, nicely also inside completely deburred and uh, all that so what they did also I have to point out with the colors as we see uh, the, the black handle one was done in black the green one was done in green and like this they did the, the, the different colors that they that they offer you see that on the blackjack website or the Smoky Mountain one if you google it up and again here we see the, the paint here is, is uh, on that part here that they did not uh, grind completely. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit a bad sign here quality wise that that did not grind all the way but uh, as a using knife and this is first production run also engraved like, like the other one uh, that, that uh, doesn't matter at all it, uh, it works out pretty pretty well anyway so we see here the a bit uh, of the cutting as they cut out the blade and then they coat, coated it with a bit of uh, traction finish and uh, the handle on this one is G10 and uh, that is on the smooth side that is really on the smooth side I need to round off the, the corners a bit more and then uh, quite likely I'm gonna gonna mill a bit grooves in the handle as I find time if I do so then I do it on a uh, boat knives so it's a bit bit on the smooth side but because of the finger groove here the the knife uh, fits at least for my big hand pretty well in the hand and it uh, doesn't get too bad especially with the nice thump ramp here but uh, yeah it's smooth G10 they did quite likely not even blast it and this one actually because it's a different material that doesn't wiggle on the the handle doesn't wiggle on the on the tang there so this this part with the with the screws fit they don't need to be shortened we will see as I take it apart how how it uh, feels maybe I still shorten it a little bit just a millimeter that it has a bit more play uh, that I can put the tension a bit higher we see and here we also see how the lanyard hole was on the black one just drill the hole cut the hole and uh, no chamfering at all uh, that would eat up like a paracord really bad like uh, this so but this this is easily done if you don't have a, a chamfering uh, drill you can use a regular drill just uh, slowly by hand uh, put it in to get a bit uh, rid of the corner there like we have it here on the black one that's absolute easy easy to do and uh, yeah the, the screws are not stainless steel those may rust in a while we will see but it would be easy to replace quite likely it's a, a inch screw a US one quite likely and uh, and uh, that should be no problem if I gonna replace it with stainless steel I gonna blast them so it's matte and uh, I'm not gonna get uh, the, the Allen wrench ones I gonna get the uh, the Phillips because you have way way easier a screwdriver like from this uh, Swiss Army knife with you than the Allen wrench that would fit that and uh, the scales also are not glued on so if you want to make it really really uh, bulletproof then change the screws to a stainless and glue the handle on just just a bit and it, and uh, as the glue is still still uh, liquid you you wipe it off because you can't sand it off anymore afterwards after the the finish just that there is a bit of uh, glue on as well so this one from the standpoint of the blade that is completely the same as the black one uh, same length same shape everything is the same 
and the material we work on figure out what that is but uh, yeah I just did not want to have uh, two of the same black ones I opt for the green here in the North Georgia mountains the, the classic black and uh, a greenish greenish color uh, blends well in uh, sand color they had and that apocalypse green that zombie green that bright green one they had too that is not tactical for the surrounding here what we have that may be different on your side if you live a bit more in in a in a sand uh, desert uh, style of of a uh, area so i did go with with uh, those two for me the sheet is both the same same uh, black also with the uh, other models it's black as best as i as i see but uh, i never did uh, study too much of the the blackjack knives uh, way back then as i started with the blade show as i came from switzerland i did meet ken warner who did work her own blackjack knives for a for a while uh, he was already pretty old back then in the 90s i'm not sure if ken is still around with us or if he did pass away uh, if he is around i hope he uh, is still well he was really a kind man many times we did uh, talk a bit at the blade show and discuss about about uh, blades and how he does his uh, blackjack uh, knives and uh, back then they did a lot of different uh, daggers and and uh, combat knives also a bit uh, a design that is more towards uh, randall knives so i did see him uh, many times at the at the blade show over the years but yeah it's hard to say but i would say about three uh, maybe the last time three four years ago uh, as i get more busy it's it's a uh, harder to keep up with everything with all the the people you see there that that show is a uh, is rough so so that much about that the uh, blackjack is an old brand that is around for quite a while and uh, whoever whoever uh, runs it now uh, yeah that that is just a couple of the of the details like the grinding that i did point out if they fix that and the, the screws that that is a bit on the better side the screws that the handle clamps on the tang really well that out of the box that should be clamped on really really well and not a uh, wiggle because a uh, military people or others may be can't fix it so easy or so well or don't have the, the keys and the, the file and device and all that like like i simply do that with with any knife anyhow so uh, also that they use a bit of loctite that would really help to put a bit of a loctite in the screws because if you go overseas or somewhere in the in the forest and you lose the the screw and the the, the the grip starts wiggling and all that you uh, have a trouble so that much about that but if you can a bit work with your hand and uh, take the time for for fix it up just a, a little bit what is left to to do that is a absolute great deal for that 75 ish 79 ish uh, dollar what what is on the smoky mountain uh, website and you you get a, a great uh, deal because the suggested retail is as best as i remember around 180 dollars on those uh, knives and they are all the same i only saw such with the same uh, problem with the grinding there by the towards the handle so so you don't get any that that is not a factory second or something like that they are like that yeah that much about the blackjack knives the tac ops series uh, these ones are six inch blades in a carbon steel with a black micarta or a green g10